If you have VirtualBox installed, if you have Vagrant installed, you should be good to go. And just as a reminder, if you pop open your terminal, you can do Vagrant flag V or dash V, and it will tell you Vagrant, it will tell us two things. One, Vagrant's installed, and then two, the version number. So this means we're good to go. So what we need to do is find the Scotchbox GitHub repo where you can go to the website and click the big button, or you could just do Google search Scotchbox GitHub and it will take you here. Now, if you don't know Git, don't worry about it. You could do things the old fashioned way where you just download it, but I do know Git. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it that way by cloning it. I'm gonna go to my desktop. I'm gonna go Git space clone not that, git space clone the URL, and then whatever I want to call the project, whatever I want. You should probably put this in your projects folder. I'm only putting it on the desktop for the demo. And I'm going to navigate in here. And what you could see is all our files from the Git repo are here. To start Scotchbox, all you have to do is run the command vagrant space up. Now, before I do that, let me close out and open some things up just so we can see what's happening. All right, so I'm going to open up VirtualBox. You don't have to do this. It's just so we all can know what's going to go happen. And all right, cool. So let's run Vagrant up. And now Vagrant's going to do a couple of things. It's going to try to look for the box, Scotchbox. If you already have it installed, it will be quicker and will come locally from cache. If you don't have it installed and this is your first time doing this, it might take like five minutes for your first run, but it normally won't take that long. And then after it downloads the box or finds the box, it's going to mount it to VirtualBox. And we can see that happening here live. So if anything ever weird happens with your Vagrant setup and you're lost on the command line, just kind of open up VirtualBox as a reference, but don't touch any of the settings here. And then once that is done, you can actually, this is from the documentation, you can navigate to IP 192.168.3310, and it will take you to inside our pre-configured, inside of this virtual machine, we already have this all in here. So we have, you can see we have PHP, Python, everything as part of Scotchbox. Now I'll, I'll go through this a little bit more and like where this came from later, but what I want to do is kind of walk you through the basic Vagrant commands. So we already learned how to start the box, Vagrant up. If we wanted to pause it, and all Vagrant is going to do is communicate to VirtualBox through like their API. So now you can see it's paused. If I would try to access that IP address, it's just going to resolve and resolve. It's not going to know where to go. Um, it's no longer on. To resume, we can just do Vagrant up. And now we're back, or almost back. Let's give it a second. And now we're back online. Now, finally, if we wanted to completely destroy this project and free up this space, we could do vagrant destroy and it would delete it out of there. But before I do, I want to show you one other command called vagrant SSH, where this is a really cool command, which will SSH us inside of our VM, just as if it was a remote server. Uh, from here, you could do whatever you wanted. If you know command line stuff, if you don't, don't worry about it. We'll go over how to make file changes in a second. Um, but besides that, let me minimize this down, hit vagrant destroy, just so you guys can see the VM is gone. Awesome. That's it. So I just walked you through pa starting it, pausing it, destroying it, and kind of how vagrant works and how to see the initial files. Um, and the next lesson will cover how you can make changes to the file. And then from there, we'll go on to like database stuff and even more detail.